Welcome back to Blender Chef Nodding. Earlier today, I stumbled across this post by Alok uh, asking how we can create structure like this uh, in Blender using geometry nodes. Um, yeah, when at the first glance I look at this, okay, it looks like just like a like a sine and cosine wave. So um, my solution is something like this that's probably involving uh, just two different um, structure one is sine and one is cosine and i just simply then use a circle and instance instant this to one after another okay using geometry to instance so that's uh, one of the most obvious answers and you can actually yeah, get some kind of result that's similar to that um, there are many ways to do this you might actually see that this might also be like it's like a diamond kind of shape and with diamond kind of shapes you can actually get like a crisscrossing pattern like this and then and then you can smooth and subdivide it so that that might actually work as well so there's you can probably use sphere chalk to do that so this is my solutions but also there's there's another solutions by by Alok actually tried as well. You can probably tackle this by simply replacing the topology, like using like a tissue add-on. Another way is actually like add in here using a different way. <laughs> um, this is like uh, using a fillet fillet curve. I thought this solution is really brilliant and smart as well. There's another way. I don't know I think he went this is a little bit more complicated but if you stumble something like this and you want to recreate it yourself you, you want to find a solution yourself um, my suggestion is uh, to try and recreate this for example this is by Erin I'm gonna show you uh, I have the, the complete versions so this is the one by Erin uh, what's really interesting here is the the relationship between cylinder and the curved circle here resolution 3 imagine you have like a circle and all like a triangle and then you make like a fillet you make a fillet cut and then you kind of use the same triangles to replace the cylinder topology I think this is what Erin is doing so if you have like a cylinder with vertices of 12, 12, you can, yeah, you can do it. You can use six here and get a fillet that's kind of like a, having this wavy pattern. It's very interesting. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to show you to you how I recreated Arin solutions. Um, so you save this into your folder and then you open you open blender and you're gonna have this so this is blender open and I will divide this turn this into geometry nodes and then this default cube I will assign geometry nodes this is how I actually learn someone else's uh, procedural nodes so you just drag it into this image viewer you can you can drag this into 3d view and you're gonna get this but you're gonna need to move around in 3d so i just rather put it in the 2d view so file save as this is adding etk sine cosine structure so if i want to build this uh Usually, I try to recreate the whole thing first and then trying to understand what's going on. The easiest is uh, just to create the nodes like this. Um, try to replicate every node. In the future, there might be like, we can use like AI or, or like machine learning to just recreate all the nodes automatically. For now, 
just do this manually so you kind of look at the this and then kind of recreating one by one uh, I'm using shift a and then just typing the nodes name I haven't made any connections but I sort of look at this in group and okay okay there are a few processing that's happening so let's try to connect this connect the dots hold options options and right click and drag okay you can connect this way okay so it's pretty fast this one connecting the last one just manually connect the dots so we start with something like this okay we now we need to match the attributes you can see this is what Arian was doing replacing the topology with something new and he actually used a fillet the fillet will give you like a from triangles to like a diamond shapes but with this uh, you have control over each polygon edge and then you can transfer it into transfer it into cylinder which is pretty weird this is something re weird that geometry nodes can handle so let's take a look okay uh, I'm trying to copy what's going on the length is three okay and the count the count is based on this integer value 34 plug this in so integer and then subtract with one okay this is for something else later for the cylinder so we have this we have this group and then we have the bottom part okay let's do this again shift a and just type very quickly using um, sometimes I can just type using left hand but that's uh, another thing okay sign my map range I wish I have three hands so two hands on the left one hands on the mouse okay this should be separate XYZ positions uh, this one okay we need the Z goes into the multiplier multiply by this is a, looks like pi so you just type tau divided by 2 sine wave okay sine wave will be involved and this goes into the map range it's becoming uh, we're gonna map the sine value minus 1 to 1 into different value we're gonna see what's going on later on this goes into the radius okay you see we already have the structure is this a this is probably what it is we just need to feel it we just need to love this we need if we don't have cylinder I mean we don't have lofting inside geometry nodes we just want to loft it so using cylinder it's a nice trick could be better in the future we just need to loft it mm, okay, set position this is like transferring attributes position look transfer attributes has a lot of things we just need to match the parameters position goes into the attributes so we take the position of all um, the edges and then transfer it into this guy with the right topology you're gonna have the right uh, result six subtract the value because we have okay yeah magic suddenly we replace the topology and we replace the point position of each of the cylinder with this uh, new value and then suddenly magic we have this building sine and cosine structure just like what Alok was asking here it's pretty smart pretty uh, brilliant and simple way of thinking so you can replace this with a different number 7 you can have 14 here I think yeah 7 and 14 you get this 
very clever solutions by Erin. So I just make sure I just call it sine cosine. You can do this with Sverchok, uh, similar creations, uh, similar result as well. So this is my solutions. I think this still kind of okay. It should work. But another way, now that I look at this, this might be just like a, a diamond, diamond kind of shape. If you use chop cylinder, diamond mesh, okay, this can replace the topology. Take a look. We have a cylinder, we have control for the height and get rid of the cap. We have diamond shape. And we can perhaps replace the topology. But I think um, in this case, maybe not exactly diamond because we suddenly have this gap over here. So, but it's pretty close and should be pretty interesting if we can just turn this into this kind of sine and cosine wave. With sine and cosine, there's like a gap over here. So we, we, not, we just need to think how to do that. But just give you the idea. There's a lot of different way to do this. Maybe if we subdivide and separate each faces and then we join it back maybe that will work but anyway that's uh, just a quick look uh, into this problem and then there's a few solutions the ones by Arian is really good and very brilliant hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and see you next time thank you bye